All right. So we're going to solve this one for F. Celsius temperature is 100. I wonder what the Fahrenheit's going to be. Well, we might remember what it is. But we're going to go through the math anyway. C equals 100. So F is 9 over 5, and we're going to plug 100 in for C. 100, right? But because I'm multiplying by a fraction, I want to write that 100 as a fraction. So 100 as a fraction can be written... 100 over 1. 100 over 1, lovely. And then plus 32, lovely. Now, multiplying fractions, I can do 900 over 5 and divide, but it's smarter and better practice and good skill to be able to cross-cancel before you multiply, if you're multiplying fractions like that. So we can go 5 into 5 goes once, and 5 into 10. Twice. Yes. And 5 into 0, 0. zero. So now we have 9 times 20 over 1 plus 32. So then 9 times 20, we just think, well, what's 9 times 2? And write that down, right? So 9, 2 is 18. So therefore, 9 times 20, 180, right? Yes. You know, I just love these pens. They're so great. They're not too, they're not too thick, but then they're not too thin. Like it, you can see it on the page, but yeah. But you can also do small writing that shows up. Anyway, F equals 212, right? And again, here's our boiling point of water at sea level. On a Celsius scale, it's 100 degrees. On a Fahrenheit scale, it's 212 degrees. 